Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager and I'm playing some Call of Cthulhu. So what we got here? I uh, see so we got a uh, Mayrune's razor. <laughs> These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. One, how do you know that? Because they are obviously very um relay looking. Cthulian. Oh, please tell me we're going to find a page of the Necronomicon in here or some shit. J just a hmm? That's all you have to say about that. Dude, you disappoint me. The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. Yep. A really creepy shit. Really creepy shit. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go over there last. This seems like a whole bunch of hiding. The public entrance to the gallery. Oh, it has a public entrance, does it? <laughs> Great. Why was he so interested in old weapons? Uh, because he wanted to use them in rituals to sacrifice things. Probably people. How's this? Oh, yeah, oil. Cool. <laughs> Hide spot. Hmm. Hmm. See, I can do that too, game. Yeah. Alright, let's look at the creepy fucking painting. Oh, actually. Oh, wait, that's more oil. Okay. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Is this dagger part of Sanders' collection, or was he seeking to acquire it? I don't know. Drawing of a dagger. I'm not looking at the painting. Not doing it. <laughs> I want to see if I can find that dagger first. It's probably that one. Why was he so interested in old weapons? Hmm. Okay, fine. I'll look at the freaking painting. <gasps> the obvious plot trigger painting. Okay, what creepy crawl is gonna come attack us now? And probably kill Miss Irene. Yep. Sounds about right. <gasps> Get away from the painting. Wonderful, brilliant. This is gonna end so well for me. This is gonna end so well for me. Oh, it's blind. Wait, points. Uh, this one. <laughs> I'm gonna be the smoothest of talkers. What the hell was that? This is fine. Dumbass. <laughs> yeah, no way I made that in time. I was gonna say, no way I made that in time. <laughs> Hi. Gross. Sup. 
What's up, bitch? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Did I just spend my points again? Oh, I do. Fuck. Oh, I didn't realize the medicine in the cult can only be improved by finding stuff. I mean, it makes sense. Though it doesn't really make sense in psychology can't. Not here. Oh wait, I'm stuck in here. I just saw the doors close. Shit. God, I can't fucking see half the time. Obviously not getting out. Do I need to stab the painting maybe? Makes sense. Jesus. Damn. Did it hear that? Hi. See that? I don't like this. I don't like this. It makes me think of alien isolation. I'm not a fan. <laughs> and by not a fan, I mean I fucking love this. to find the uh the the one that had that particular dagger in it and then stab the painting the fuck is that thing doing this is fine okay what was that clue symbol current creature in his correspondence with sarah hell shit <laughs> fuck right off 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 I should have figured out which dagger was in that picture before this. right off. So hard! <laughs> I 
I don't want it, folks. <laughs> Is it gone? I can't tell. Stop the painting. Yes! I was right! <laughs> Stab him. I love it when I'm right. <laughs> Okay, game. You got me. That was effective. Oh shit, there goes my arm. Do it. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Hi, cat! <laughs> I'm having an issue, okay? <laughs> you sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. I haven't had a single drink. Shut up. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? Yes. I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back, I think. I... I think so, too. No, I'm not crazy. Not crazy, you're crazy. I ran, screamed, broke a pane of glass. You were in the next room and you didn't hear a thing. If I hadn't heard a thing, I'd still be in the other room. <laughs> the door was blocked. I got in as soon as I could. I like to look after my goods. I'm your goods? You mean me. <laughs> Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. What? <laughs> and by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? I'm not going anywhere, I just it had to stab the painting. my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. Sure. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. It's probably evil then. It's not your style to give me free <laughs> information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Okay. Now go see your antique seller. I still got things to settle with Irene. Okay. I like Kat. I hope Kat doesn't die. Kat better not die. I like her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that ended well. <laughs> I only died once. It was really hard to see where it was, though. I suppose the game wanted me to pull out my light more often, but I wasn't going to pull out my fucking light unless I had to. Because it feels like pull- I mean, the thing didn't have eyes, but it seemed to be very- it seemed to sense me really easily, so I didn't want to pull it out. <laughs> Great! There's all in the, in, in the window. Didn't we see this Drake guy earlier on? I swear I saw like a dude in the um in the island's like tavern that looked very like antique dealery or historian like or something. Oh great. What kind Where's of Where's the bookseller? This is a really crappy bookstore. This thing is not um organized at all. And also the bookseller's probably dead. <laughs> I know, I'm that asshole. What's this? History of Darkwater. Cool! 
I got a book. Got some oil. Great! Great. That's always a good sign. History. Wonderful. Brilliant. Stu freaking Pendus. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna use this one. Because <laughs> this one doesn't take up uh, liquid. Actually, I'm not gonna go back there yet. I'll see if there's anything else. No? Yes. Alright, why does this feel like. Okay, that's medical progression. That's a good thing. Will you read the book? No! No. <laughs> I learned. <laughs> I learned from the first time. What happened here? Uh, oh, right, this thing. I haven't had to do this in a while. Let's start over. Where did they break in from? Blood. Seems like amateur work. Probably. Okay, I can't go in there. So there's obviously a break-in of this dude's shop. This burglar seems to be rather clumsy. A little. Okay, so I can't go over there. It's all dark and spoopy. What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? A thief that either doesn't care about being caught or what wasn't killed planning all these this. animals? Ah, uh, wait a minute. Oh, hey! A bunch of cockroaches. What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? Probably something spoopy. Okay. What the? Charles Hawkins? Oh my god! Looks like the symbol rejected Hawkins. Where did I see it? What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? A magical power. Ah! I shouldn't Sarah have done that. Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. Yep. Maybe I shouldn't have taken it. I probably shouldn't have taken it. <laughs> Just saying. Didn't get in there. Why do I have this out? There we go. What link did he find between Charles I knew it. and an old amulet? I knew it had something to do with um, relay. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? Yes. Why do I have so many sleeping pills? I'm not going to use them. Yay, more medicine. I didn't switch that. No, I did not switch that game. Okay, he pulled a thing. Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. Oh, great. My last and only hope is that my body and bones are still in this plane of reality. In order to be recovered and buried, the funeral must be given to my dear mother, who is still this world. The following is... Judy Sharp's mind can gain... And access to my precious possession. It's the freaking Necronomicon, bet you anything. It lies within my safe and includes the combination of found in three cylinders, each hidden word life and study combine in the Greek world. Each cylinder is numbered, even if, as the auth celebrated author says, order is the pleasure of reason, but disorder is the delight of the imagination. Indeed, despite my preference for organized chaos, I must admit that reason usually prevails in the end. If by chance a person, or should I say a genius, was to match my intellect to find the combination of the safe, I would ask that they deliver its contents to the safekeeping of my friend and colleague, Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University. Any Lovecraft enthusiast knows both Professor Armitage, knows the name Armitage, and knows the name Miskatonic. I appreciate the gender that represents you to act accordingly. In any event, I will neither be here to guide you nor to suffer, nor to suffer from you actions. <laughs> oh, typos. Okay. Three cylinders, each hidden where. Okay, so those are probably the books that I picked up. 
Disorder is the pleasure of reason, but disorder is the delight. Hmm. Well, I'm in chapter seven already. Jesus. No, 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 I picked up some books. Fuck off, I picked up books. There we go. Two. No. Just No. What's in this? What's in that? Here we go. The history of dark water. No. Was the history of dark water? What were the books that I picked up? Fuck this book. That book got me in trouble. I was wrong. Hmm. I didn't pull that out. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. Mm, about that. How many volumes are there in this collection? Mm, a lot. Another volume by Arkham editions. Okay, I don't. This light is too bright. Turn it off. Turn it off. Thank you. Arkham editions. Never heard of them. Oh, I see. There's the names. Okay. How many volumes are there in this collection? Prophecies. Another volume by Arkham editions. Master Directorium per Shuge. Arkham editions. The Key of Solomon. How many volumes are there? As the Thoth and other horrors. I know that name. Do not wake up as the Thoth. If you wake up as a thought, you're gonna have a bad time. The Book of Zion is the foundational work behind Helena Blavatsky's Theosophical yeah, okay. Movement. Oh shit! Its followers placed truth on the same footing as the cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. Okay. So, those two and three. Oh! Wait a minute, don't I already have the first, the first one? I picked it up at the, it, her house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the first one already. Okay. Three cylinders hidden. Each hidden were life and study combined in the Greek world. Each cylinder is numbered, even if they're celebrated. Okay. So how do I listen to these? Is there something that I can use? Hey, more medicine. Cool. Don't want more freaking occultism. Fuck occultism. I know where that gets you in the Cthulhu mythos, and it's nowhere good. An old diary. Is there a thingy? There's gotta be something I can use these on. A kind of chalice. Okay. Is this important somehow? Hurly be durbly. Oh, hey, look, there's a thing. Stop using the. There we go. Okay. And these red rocks, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. Okay. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soul. Number two is something to do with the I white queen. I see our number dwindling. And my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. 
We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Okay, so first one has something to do with rubies, which is going to be in that grail. And these red drops, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the and these red drops, okay. like precious. I finally understood the number that of the we red stones on the grail on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. It has something to do with the chessboard and the white queen. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seems <laughs> particularly relevant is. to my research. I never tire of browsing through Do them. not browse through anything that has Azathoth's name on it. <laughs> okay, so the Azathoth and Other Horrors is the third one. The first one has something to do with the number of stones on the grail. And the second one has something to do with the chessboard. Is my assumption. The Chalice of Knowledge. Red drops. One. Two. Ah, oh, fuck. This is going to be hard, isn't it? Okay. So this has a line and a line, so I can remember what ruby that is. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm counting five. So five. Oh, you're fine. The queen has little protection. Okay. Don't know how you're supposed to get a number from this, though. Does somebody do with the queen? I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our white queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. So we is it three? Refuse to be the playthings of destiny. So, if we're not counting the White Queen, it's like, we, our numbers are few, we're protecting it, so it would be three because there's three other white pieces on the board? So that'd be five and three. Again, if I'm correct here. And then Drake talked about a particular volume. Nine. No. Yes, that's nine, okay. So five, three, nine. How do I do this? Oh, I do it this way. Five. Three. Oh, wrong way. Nine. I'm a badass. <laughs> Y'all saw my puzzling skills right there. Y'all saw it. Y'all freaking, that is the Necronomicon, isn't it? Don't read it! No, you never read the Necronomicon, dude! It's a bad idea. Close the book now. <laughs> Good job! GG! GG, my dude. Do not open the Necronomicon! <laughs> I mean, I don't even know if it's actually the Necronomicon. It could be one of the other books that nobody ever talks about. But the fact that the achievement is called The Book, <laughs> and it's a Lovecraft game with Cthulhu in the title, pretty sure it's the Necronomicon. There are other books in the mythos, canonically in the mythos, but the big gun is always the Necronomicon. Am I dead? Probably not. But yay, I solved the puzzle. <laughs> I'm so ha I'm so happy whenever I solve a puzzle without having to look it up. Cause it's I love those cerebral puzzles like that, being able to piece out what the number is from 
like wor wordplay puzzles. That's one of the reasons why I love Silent Hill puzzles so much in particular. Uh, because you have like Resident Evil style puzzles that are usually more mechanical, like push block onto switch. And then you have Silent Hill ones who are like, here's a poem. Figure out the combination to a door from a poem. <laughs> That's the kind of shit I love. And got some long loading times. <laughs> Occasionally. Dr. Colden, this man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. Am I- I'm Marie? He, he's busy with Captain Fitzroy. Oh, this is gonna end poorly. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? Hi. I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. Wait a minute. Don't call Dr. Fuller. Fuck him. Very well. I'll examine him. Oh, wait! That's him! Well then. I'm gonna do all of this in the next video, you guys. My name is Oscar the Tanger, and I have been playing some Call of Cthulhu. I'll see you all.